Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. I hope you've had a good week. We have a few things to chat about actually. So I wanted to touch on a few things. Number one is there was a leak. <gasps> oh my gosh, who would have thought The Sims 4 would leak anything? All the new packs are leaked every single time, almost every single time. It's usually by the platforms it's being sold on. So I think it was Microsoft Store this time. I didn't even know The Sims could be purchased on Microsoft Store. It looks like there's a Moroccan themed kit coming out next. I think it looks like a very beautiful pack. It looks beautifully done. I love the Moroccan aesthetic, um, but I'll be honest, it's probably not something that I'll have a lot of use for. I think I'll enjoy doing a few builds with it, but I don't think it's something that I'm like hanging out for and that I'm super duper excited about personally, but it definitely looks like a really pretty pack. That's something to look forward to. The next thing I want to share with you guys is that Pierism has released a new kitchen pack. It's called Rolled Scov, and it's not part of the Oak House packs that Pierism has created and that I showed you guys recently. But this one's a kitchen pack, so I'm very excited to check it out. It looks very clean and minimal and amazing and versatile, so we will check that out in a second. And then Hey Harry has also released a few new items as well for us to look at, so we will check that out as well. So looking at the new kitchen pack by Pierism, these are the new kitchen counters which I've just placed out here in this you know, interesting orientation to show off that yes, there are different pieces of the counters like you would expect. Uh, so this is really nice. There's a waterfall edge and it's very modern, minimal look and feel, which I personally love. And the good thing is you can also use these in more traditional builds as well. Like you can put this in a country build, and have more of a modern kitchen that kind of suits the aesthetic of the rest of the house, even though it's traditional, like it doesn't have to be just for a modern house. And I have to say one of my favorite things about this is the textures and swatches they've used. I think they look really, really nice, really, really high quality. And also the other thing I really appreciate is that there's every single wood grain you could want. So we've got the light woods, the mid woods, and of course the dark woods as well. And then we move into plain colors too. So that is really cool uh, that you can have with all the different stone tops as well. So there's the black stone top that is this green, which I'm loving, I love that. There's so much green around at the moment. Uh, it, it's cool, it's really cool. And oh my gosh, there are timber tops, which I love timber tops. Then this is very cool. There is a kitchen splash bag. Oh, hell yeah. So this, in case you don't know, this is what's meant to go behind the kitchen counters. So uh, it's not like you have to clean your wall when you're cooking and stuff. So this is designed to be really easy to clean in real life. And interestingly, Oh, that's so weird. So it actually does come with like corner pieces and end pieces, uh, which I'm not entirely sure how you're meant to make it work. Oh, wow. Okay, so that is really cool. So if you wanna have a splashback go around the wall, you can actually use those pieces. And I guess the end pieces will make it look a little bit thinner on each side, or maybe it has a nice edging detail. I'm not actually sure how it works, but let me see the difference between like a full piece and an end piece. I don't know, I guess the spacing is easier. I love this. I feel like I'm gonna use this all the time. So it comes in the different stone swatches, which we love. Uh, it also comes in like this kind of sandstone swatch too, which is cool. I like it, unless that's meant to be wood, but I would say that is a stone because that just makes more sense for a splashback. And then uh, you've also got plain colors too. So if you just want like a plain colored splashback, you can totally have that. That's very cool as well. I love it. I'm so excited. I've been asking for splashbacks for so long. I actually told the, the Sims team once that I really, really wanted to get some splashbacks into the game. So I'm really excited if I can even have it as CC. I mean, heck yeah. This is a sink obviously, and it's got that beautiful matching green stone. So if you're using that as the bench top, it can be completely camouflaged. And then the taps also vary in some colors. So you can get like brassy, goldy, different taps. And my favorite at the moment, black taps. And white taps as well. I've noticed there's a lot of white fittings coming into fashion. So that's, um, that's good to see that we can get some white fittings as well. I would even want to get even whiter than this. Like this is all, this is more silver, I guess. But um, 
there's a really good range of them in any case. And I love this sink. I love how wide it is. It seems very, uh, very practical. Oh, I love the gray as well. And then there's also the cooktop. So this can be, oh, it looks like it's an electric cooktop that you can just place on top of your counters, which means you can put it on an island counter. You don't have to have like the full oven stove item that can sometimes look a little bit clumsy. This can be a lot more streamlined. And then we also have the kitchen oven here. Cool, nice. So this again, just slips in really easily into this kitchen top. And obviously depending on what different kitchen tops and colors you choose to use or splashbacks, you can kind of tie it all in together. So it's a beautiful seamless design. And if you're a little bit lazy and you don't want to place them separately, you can just place them in like this. So the stove top and the oven go together as one item if that's what if that's what you like. I mean, honestly, that that'll be really easy to use, but that's so nice. And then we also have a kitchen dishwasher. Yay! So this is another seamless, like integrated kitchen item. Uh, so really, really nice to see. And that should be able to just, you know, sit seamlessly within your benches as well. Very cool. Very, 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 very cool. And then there is a fridge and it's got kind of the same gridded cupboard aesthetic, which is nice. Comes in all the colors you would expect there to be. So that's easy. And it also means you don't have to have the cupboard kind of going over the fridge. Oh, and there's this nice accessory as well, which is some chopping boards. Oh, these are really nice. So you can put these against your kitchen top and you can probably use the rest of your kitchen top as well, which is handy. So that's a really nice little accessory item. I think this is also a really nicely balanced CC pack because there's not too many items. It's just kind of the basics of what you need, one accessory to make it look a bit glam and you're good to go. So I, I appreciate that it's not like super large. It's just nice and compact and basic and easy to use. Oh, and I, I didn't even go through the cupboards, silly me. So we have cupboards as well, uh, awesome. And I always like to check out the different shapes of cupboards just to see if there's any hidden surprises. But I think this looks pretty much what you would expect to see. And I really like that as well. Oh, and this cupboard looks like it matches the fridge except the fridge does stick out a little bit, which is something I've always wondered. I don't know why that happens. Um, oh wait, hold on a second. Oh no, that is the fridge, okay. But even though it sticks out a little bit, it's still very much an integrated kitchen. And usually if you're gonna put the fridges in the corner, it's okay if they stick out a little bit too. And you can kind of emphasize it as well by having it in a different color to tie in with this flashback or whatever. So very, very nice. I love it. Thank you so much, Pierism. I'm gonna use this all the time. Ah, oh, I love Kitchen CC. It's, it's my favorite thing. It's my absolute favorite. So right now, this kitchen set is out for early release only. So if you're a patron of Pierism, you have access to this and I'll link their Patreon in the description down below. And then it's gonna be out for the public on the 23rd. So you don't have that long to wait anyway, if you're unable to support them on Patreon. Okay, so the next collection I wanna show you guys is by Harry, and this is their Brownstone collection. I think this is part three now, so there's already been part one and part two, uh, which I've shown off in a couple of other videos. But part three is focused on the lounge room, and I just wanted to first show off some wallpapers that have come out that I really, really like by Harry in this collection. They're very classic and very minimal, and there's actually a lot of pieces so that you can kind of alternate the patterns if you want, or you can repeat them. You can really do whatever you want. They're very versatile. So that, uh, that is really, re really, really beautiful and very classic as well, as well as being modern. So if you want to fuse traditional and modern, you can totally do that. And it comes in the most beautiful colors. I'm just going to show you guys a few of them. I love these greens again, these kind of mustardy mustard olive greens. I don't even know what colors you would describe that as, but there's pinks. There's also these, which I absolutely love having the trims in white. So actually, this is probably my favorite, having like this soft green, soft pink, soft blue, and the gray as well. I think those look so pretty, as well as, of course, the block colors. And these colors come in every single wallpaper that is part of this pack. That's whether or not you choose to mix and match them, or like I said, just repeat them. 
Uh, yeah, you can do you can do whatever you like, but I think they look amazing. And just as a reminder, the brownstone collection is based on brownstone buildings. So they have these traditional windows if you want to create like a New York inspired apartment building, or there's also these factory windows, which I absolutely fell in love with. I feel like a lot of Harry's work is definitely my kind of taste that I love to play with in my Sims. So basically everything Harry creates, I adore. So let's check out these new sofas. So we have an armchair here and wow, okay. This is really, really high quality stuff. Oh my gosh, I am absolutely in love with this. Now, these sofas, I actually uh, showed Harry from a store I really like, and I said, I think you're gonna really like these and you might be inspired by them. And I'm so excited that she is because she has done such an incredible job of recreating them in The Sims 4. Like, wow, even the texture of them is quite difficult because a lot of these kind of, I call them towel fabrics. That's not really what they are, but these towel looking fabrics are really trending at the moment, especially in whites and creams. A lot of like fashion and beauty bloggers you'll see have lounges in this style. And it's hard to recreate that in The Sims 4 in a way that is Maxis match. So I think she's done a really, really good job of that. And I, I just love this design. I love it so much. And actually this goes really well with PRSM's kitchen as well. But if you are not into that, there's also the brownstone kitchen, which I showed in another video that Harry has already done. So yeah, these are beautiful colors as well. I like how uh, the colors vary with the legs of the couch too. So you can definitely have colors that go with a deeper flooring or a lighter flooring. Of course, the armchair and the couches or sofas, they all go together. Even in different colors, you can make them go together. Ooh, okay, okay. So this looks like it's a brand new coffee table and she's fancy. She She's very, very fancy. So this is the marble swatch, but if the marble swatch is too much for you to handle, you can also go with these more neutral colors, but it's very edgy so classy and edgy it's so contemporary i love it in the wood grains as well i like how the wood grains are a little bit more exaggerated in this too that it's just so nice <gasps> wow there's also this sideboard over here which brings more of the traditional element into this pack and it's cool the contemporary versus the traditional they go together because you can get them in the same colors and textures i also really like the color blocking on this this is very interesting it reminds me of furniture you see in new york hotels and stuff like that it's a bit playful but then you can go with the more classic look and feel really really nice i also love these hidey holes where you can put decor or some books in each side and that'll help make it look more contemporary as well i love it so much Okay, and there's also some paintings. All right, so here's one. So this is a wall canvas, and this is gonna come in so many different prints that are all amazing. And this is such a good size as well. It's so useful and versatile. And look, these will suit so many different kinds of houses. These canvases are awesome. There's also plain ones. Oh my gosh, I am, um, this might be the best collection of paintings in an in one item i've seen in the sims 4 like across sims 4 on custom content this is so pretty wow and you could size them down or size some of them down and create kind of like a collection or assortment of different size canvases you know like this you know change them up a bit especially when you have plain colors to link in i'm gonna make like a super posh sim who has just this massive white canvas at the front of the house that they spent like 50 grand on. Actually, how much is this canvas? It's 3,200 small in, so your, your Sims better, better have that coin coming in. But they're really, really nice. I love them. There's also this new vase. Ooh, so this vase looks really nice over on this table, on the coffee table, or even on the ground next to a chair. It's like a branch vase. Very nice. It comes in all of these neutral colors and the blossoms on the branch also change a little bit. <gasps> so nice. And then last of all, I think there is a fireplace. Okay. So the, oh, 
Ooh, I like this fireplace. One issue I've had with fireplaces in The Sims 4 is they can often be very, very chunky and come quite far out from the wall. So if we were looking at a base game fireplace, you can see how that sticks out a little bit more or the parenthood. It just it just sticks out a little bit further and looks a bit more clunky and like it, it crowds your room more. So I like that this is a little bit more slender. It will fit into your house a little bit more seamlessly. And again, it's very classic. So it's gonna suit your modern homes in like the all black style or your more traditional homes marble classy even though, like the warm brown could go in a family friendly home that isn't that fancy it might just be an older piece of furniture but yeah super duper nice very pretty very very pretty and i believe i've also missed one more thing which is a leaning version of the canvas so this is a version of the canvases that you can put against uh, the wall. So if you don't want to hang them up, you can have a leaning version as well, which I really like. And especially if you want to put the canvas on top of a console table, like it's just sitting there like this, you can give the illusion. Or actually, yeah, you can give the illusion that it's just sitting on top of the table or even over the fireplace. That's another really nice place to put a leaning canvas. So they don't always have to be on the wall. I'm so excited about these packs. Like I am obsessed with these. I cannot wait to use them. I'm gonna do a build with them. I love them so much. So keep an eye out for that. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know uh, if you would like to see anything else of particular interest. I love you guys. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I'll speak to you soon. Zack, Zack.